We're out and about tonight, and I tell you, there's no place better to stop at this time of the year than Deerfield Country Club, and it is Chef Paul here with me. What a fantastic evening. Isn't it great? We finally got some nice weather. <laughs> there's no fog, there's no rain, there's no lightning. Perfect evening, perfect yeah. temperature. And this is what it, this is all about, but this year, you know, as you know, a lot of people, we've been facing rain early every night and everything else, so it's, you know, but tonight, this is the perfect venue to come out and just have a couple of drinks and a bite to eat. It doesn't get better than this. It really does. I mean, it's it's a great band here tonight. We've got you know live entertainment. We've got a beautiful sunset, and that, and that's really what this area right here is. This sunset, uh, this, this, the, the sunsets here are magnificent off the golf course, and uh, it's it's great. Jimmy said, "No, it's not. It's the food." <laughs> and Jeff Paul's cooking, so you know. But this this is a grill. That it's kind of like the uh, you know just uh, the golfer's grill there but it's it, it becomes more than that at nighttime oh it does for sure it does for sure you know we have we have some regulars that come back I know people that are here tonight with a family if this is four weeks in a row <laughs> and uh, it's, it's, it does get kind of addicting so yeah. Yeah, good food and good entertainment, like you said, and everything. But you, when you're talking about Deerfield, you guys offer so much. I mean, you got full banquet facilities, got golf. I mean, you got it all up here. You know what? There really isn't, and I'm not being biased, but there really isn't any place like it in, in a tri-state area. It's it's really is magnificent. It's beautiful. The setting is beautiful. The food is eh, <laughs> no, no. The food, the, the food, food is absolutely to die for. We know that because we've. Uh, uh, anytime they, we hear, okay, we got to go shoot some segments up at the, uh, <laughs> the trucks loaded up. They're they're heading out. I, I don't ever get invited, as you know. They come up here, but they enjoy it. I'm, they, you know, they just rave about the food because. And I've had some of your food. I mean, I've gone to different events and, and stuff that you you're serving at. Uh, but your your main to oversee this facility here and what a great facility it is. Well, I just want to say this: that when I try to figure out what. I'm I'm going to put on the tip. I always think about what these guys want to eat. <laughs> and I say, I bet they'll like that. And that's what the, that's what we make. I know he's he's been talking about that filet mignon ever since <laughs> the, you know, the last trip up here. So that's all he's talked about. But it, the, the hours up here. Let's talk about the grill for a minute. The, the hours operation. Well, we're here. We're here all day for lunch. So we're here. Uh, you know, we have the golf shop that opens at you know seven o'clock or six thirty, whatever. Somebody's here. But we start serving food in earnest about eleven o'clock, and tonight we'll probably be here till almost ten o'clock. So. Yeah. yeah, so it's a full, full yeah. nice place to come. Lunch and, and, the, and dinner. Now, what you're known for, we got to mention this, and I don't know if it's still going on, is the Sunday brunches. Uh, you know? Sunday, Sunday brunch, I was going to mention that. Sunday brunch starts the last week of September. Back again. This will be fifth year in a row, best brunch in Delaware. And uh, we start back uh, whatever that last Sunday is in, in September, and then we go all the way through May through Mother's Day. Yeah, and, and, and everybody, if you haven't ever visited Deerfield for the Sunday brunch, you, once you do, you'll come here time and time again. Because you, you said it, it's best in Delaware. Well, uh, yeah, I could be biased, biased a little bit, yeah, but, but it is. I will say it. You know, it's you know it's, it's huge. <laughs> if you can't find something here to eat, then there's, that's a real problem because we, have, you know, the, the, we have the carb rack of lamb every week, the big roll bar with the shrimp and the oysters, the crab and the sushi. We do we roll our own sushi here. We have all our smoked fish, you know, different fish and scallops and. There's a whole lot. Oh, there's a whole, 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 whole lot. And you didn't even scrape the breakfast no, part of it. So, scrape yeah. it yeah. <laughs> so, but there's there's a lot here in the, the desserts. But that starts in September, so keep your eye out for that. Very reasonably cost. I know a lot of families come here on a regular basis because it is affordable. Yeah. Well, we have literally every Sunday we have people to come back every week. Uh, I wonder why. Yeah, you know, it's the atmosphere. You know, <laughs> it's the food, people. I'm telling you, if you haven't had Chef Paul's eating, you, you've got to come up and, and, and just try it one time. I love when you yeah, well, well, it's you know, but you do. You do a fantastic job. You want to be well. You've been a chef in, in this area now. I mean, God, oh, in this I, area oh. for yeah, over 20 years in the area for sure. Yeah. Yeah, cause I remember back when I first started, you were chefing. You know, you go yeah. yeah so you've and you've done it different places, but this is uh, you've kind of put your signature on this place. I've been doing this for 30. 34, 35 years. I'm not doing Started the Started at two. Yeah. Oh, I love you. <laughs> uh, but I've been doing it for, for a while. So. Yeah. Chef, I appreciate your time. I know you got to get back. Pleasure. Yeah, And uh, you definitely check out Deerfield. It's down here. And this is going on for another couple of weeks. You can enjoy this. And we're going to go hear some of Mikey Jr.'s the band on the stage. So check that out.
this is something I don't get to do very often. That's to catch Mikey Jr. in the state of Delaware performing here at Deerfield. Is Mikey Jr. in the Stone Cold Blues Band? I mean, it doesn't get any better, buddy. How are you? I'm great. Thank you, Tim. It's great to see you here, man. Thank you. You, you, you do this place quite a bit. Yeah, we're here a couple times a month, once a month, uh, once a month. But this month, we're we're very fortunate to be here twice this month, and it didn't rain, so we are outside finally. <laughs> yeah, it's raining. That's what the problem been all year is everywhere you went. The decks have been closed because, they, but you know, tonight you couldn't ask for a better weather, better crowd. I mean, you got you you you're you're doing well here. A great night, great crowd, and wonderful weather. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, no, for those of you who are not for me with Mikey, Mikey, you've been you know you've been out here doing it wild. I, I say you're the best there is on that French horn. Uh, but when you when you're talking about the harmonica and everything else, you you just got you got your own style. You and you own the blues. Oh, thank you very much. I like to think that it's a bunch of different styles meshed into one because I just uh, every harmonica player I've ever met, I've kind of tried to uh, steal from. <laughs> so hopefully, I've stolen from a lot of different people and developed my own little thing. But uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, you got you got, you got a couple of, uh, out there. I guess iTunes. I don't know how you buy the records Absolutely. today. You know, but you got some. You, I guess you got five or six of different ones you put out there by now. Yeah, I got my ninth album coming out this year. Uh, Ten if you want to include one of my previous releases that I only printed, printed 100 copies for for a fundraiser deal, but uh, about 10 releases and I'm at cdbaby.com if you Google uh, Mikey Jr. or cdbaby.com, search for Mikey Jr. and uh, mikeyjr.com is my website, yeah. Yeah, you definitely want to check it out if you like blues sounds because, yeah, you know, you do a lot of originals, but you, at, at the same time you, you throw in some covers, to, but with your own style once again. Absolutely, absolutely. I love keeping the blues alive with the old, uh, you know, regular uh, you know, uh, originals uh, from other artists, but I like doing my own originals, but it's, you know, it's hard to keep the blues alive without doing some of the covers, so yeah, when, we always love to do the covers. And, and you don't have to be old to, to do the blues. I, I found no, that, because you know, no, I always thought it was old guys who did the blues, but you know, but yeah, you know, the Stone Cold Blues Band, I mean, you're back up, they do a fantastic job. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's been a band that I've had together since 2002, so I'm going up on my 11th year doing this professionally, and I can't ask for anything more, and if I hit the lottery, I'd still come to work, because I love what I do. Mikey, thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Tim. Great to see you again. Thank you so much. And thank you to Positive Promotions. Been promoting me since, geez, my, the beginning of my career. I want to thank you so much, Tim. Thank you. No problem, buddy. Can't end the night without stopping by Krabby Dicks down here in just you know Delaware City. You're excited, John. I mean, you were once the mayor, but now you're back to entrepreneur, and a lot of things happen down here in Delaware City. You're talking about something about a bird, you know? What, what's going on there? Well, actually, I'm still a councilman in Delaware City, so I'm still very involved. Um, the national headquarters for the American Bird Association is coming to Delaware City, and um, they're taking over the old Central Hotel. Um, and actually you can see a lot of progress going on there right now. They're doing all the landscaping around front. And now this is the national, this is overseas all, you know, so they're, they're, this is big for Delaware City. Actually, they're, yes, it's very big for Delaware City. They're moving from Colorado and they'll be um, coming here in actually hopefully the end of the year. Yeah, so yeah, that's got to be exciting. But a lot of other things, because I, I came down here and people, they're loving this Krabby Dicks. I mean, you've got this thing going, the food's right, the, the entertainment's right. Tell me what's going on here on a regular basis. Oh, we always got something going on. Every day we have a daily special going on. And on weekends we have entertainment. Um, start out on Thursday nights, we have karaoke. Fridays, we always have a different band. Saturdays, a different band. And Sundays, we play steel drums. And this Sunday night, we have a band also. Yeah, because you got the great, I mean, the great deck out here. I mean, if you're coming back and now the beach is all over with, you want to go still hang out at the beach? You're right here in Delaware City. You're at the beach. I mean, it's, you've recreated it right here. Well, thank you. But that's nature created this. I mean, we got the best views in the state. Um, when Dale and I came down here seven years 
years ago, we found the building on the internet and we bought it in 15 minutes, fell in love with it. And there's a lot happening in Delaware City. Besides the Bird Association, we have a bakery opening up and um, a lot of new businesses are coming aboard. Yeah, because I, I see that we were driving in and then and the camera guy was telling me, he said, you know, this it's, it's changing on a daily basis down here. I mean, a lot of things happening and you, you're a big part of it. And, and you know, and we want, it's people like you, we got to say thank you for looking after a community and really trying to make it better than what it is. Well, thank you, but there's um, no I in team. I mean, and we got one hell of a team here in Delaver City. Yeah. Now let's talk back to uh, Krabby Dicks here and talk about, because food, you know, we talk about entertainment and stuff, but wide variety on a menu. Oh, absolutely. We have food from land to sea. I mean, it's, um, and we have, we, we're very kid friendly too here. We have a kid's menu. We have um, steaks, salads, burgers. Actually, our burgers won Best of Delaware. Um, so it's, you know, people love them. Yeah, it's, it's just a great place to be. And in the wintertime, don't stay away because the deck's not open because you got the inside here. Great place to come hang out. John, thank you so much for taking your time and, and lots of luck with this, buddy. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. Before we leave, Introduce the band on the stage. It's called How's My Hat. I tell you, I'm out on the town tonight and just kind of a friend of mine said, hey, you got to stop by the Hilton. 
And I said, the Hilton? He said, yeah, I'm, I'm spending on the Hilton. And I got here, I'm telling you, Pete Lynch here with the Hilton, I, I was totally blown away. This is absolutely spectacular you have here. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. We offer a happy hour Monday through Friday. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, we have an entertainment element to it. So tonight we have our good buddy Rick DJing for us. Uh, we do that from 7 to 10 uh, every Friday during the summertime. Yeah, but I, I, I would just, uh, you, you don't realize what a scenic view you have right here in this area. I mean, it's just unbelievable. The pond out here, the nice patio, and then, you know, and fire, you know, people over there gather around the fire. Now, you run this throughout, you know, when, throughout September, and then it's pretty much over with. You guys kind of judge it on the weather. It's really based on the weather. Basically, what we're going to do is the plan is to have it run through the end of October, uh, and then we'll kind of see what happens after that. Yeah, but I, I know I know because I've been been here before when you had entertainment on the inside, but I never stepped out on this patio, and I'm telling you, I'm just blown away. What a great place to just come and have a cocktail. But the, the inside, you, you're going to do the same thing in the wintertime. We are. Once the weather changes a little bit, we'll bring the entertainment inside. Uh, we do have a couple of things planned just to showcase our food. Um, yeah, when you're talking about food, you got... Uh, I know what it's like. People get, people know what it's like when you go to a hotel, you talk about hotel quality food. I mean, chef back there preparing the meals and stuff, and, and you got a great restaurant to do it in. Yeah, the restaurant is open seven days a week for all three meal periods. Um, our bar does serve food as well. We also have a bar menu there. That's mostly, though, for happy hour and then nighttime, late night eats, things like that. Yeah, now what time, you know, you know what, I guess, you know, look at hotel, you guys are always open. I mean, you know, but, you know, as far as the, the restaurant and uh, the hours every day? Restaurant is open every day. We open at 7 a.m. for breakfast, uh, and we serve till about 10 p.m. Yeah, so if you're looking for a bite to eat, what a great place to stop in there. And I've had lunch in there, good food, good atmosphere and everything. But uh, you, you got to be happy with the, the amount of people that I thought, you know, the Hilton, the people just gather at the Hilton and staying at the Hilton. But I'm surprised how many local people just come by and enjoying themselves. Trying to get the word out. Uh, really, we cater to hotel guests, but we also have a really good following for outside people just right around in this five-mile area here. Uh, a lot of business customers come in for lunch as well, so great place to unwind and have a drink at the end of the day. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm definitely enjoying myself. and You've you got to get out here and check out the patio. That's the Hilton, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say if everybody knows where the Christiana Hospital is, because I'm not sure what this road is out here. Do you know where we're at? Churchman's Road and Continental Drive. Thank you so much. I knew you. You better know where you are. You know, there's, yeah, when you're in the hotel business, too, I, I, you know, I, I had an opportunity to be in it years ago. Your job's never done. I mean, it's you guys, you know, people don't realize, and they thank you so much for taking the time out today. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it.